Hello everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching and today we're trying something new. Literally, lots of things that are new. <laughs> so, what's happening is last, well okay when you're seeing this it was last month, but in my world it was last week. <laughs> I counted all of my products. I did a whole count of everything that I own in my makeup collection and I realized there are a lot of products in there that I couldn't declutter because I had never tried them. So what I went ahead and did is I picked out 10 products that are brand new. I've never tried these. They are either new to my collection or I've had them for a long time and for some reason just hasn't been used yet. And what I want to do is I want to do the smallest of project pans because I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish up these. I'm giving myself one month to try these products and decide keep or declutter. Like those are my options. <laughs> and what I'm hoping this will do is encourage me to try some of these products that are my collection that I've never used before. Because there are certain products that I have that I just really love the packaging for and I don't want to ruin the packaging or I don't want to make it look ugly or like everyone loves this and I don't want to not love it which is silly because if I don't love it, why do I even have it? <laughs> okay, but let's go into it. These are 10 products that I have never used before. These are products still in the boxes and I'm gonna give you my opinions on them at the end of the month. So the first thing I wanna talk about is primers because if you saw that numbers video, you'll know that I have a crap ton of face primers. And this Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer is one I have never tried. Um, I believe it's still sealed. I don't even know where I got this. Yep, still sealed. And I don't know if it's any good. <laughs> I've never really heard anybody talk about it. I think when it first came out, I think it came out this fall, last fall, 2017 fall time. And I don't know, I've never tried it. So I'm excited to see how that one goes. I normally like Tarte stuff, but I've never tried a Tarte primer. So there you go. This is... <laughs> I don't even, I, again, I don't know where this came from. This is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. Um, Urban Decay All Nighter. What is it? Urban Decay? Whatever. The Urban Decay primer is my favorite. Um, I got this, I believe, in a Sephora play. I don't know, but look, there's no seal on it, but it's never been used. Um, and I want to know if it's any good. If it's not good, why am I keeping it? It's an eyeshadow primer. You don't go through these things really fast. They take like forever, so there's that. Then let's go into um, concealer. Oh my god, I almost forgot the word. Okay, so last year, aka when I'm filming this, I, I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos by the way. I am actually in the United States right now. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> celebrating the holidays with my family so I'll hopefully be back. Actually when you're seeing this I should be back in Germany like really soon. So um, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I'm in the shade 160 Brightener. Uh, I have never tried this product but everyone loves it on YouTube so I figured it was about time for me to give it a go. My lighting is changing. Ooh for the better. Oh I'll take it. Thank you sunlight. Um, and that's what it looks like. Since I've never tried this, I don't know if I like it. The other Maybelline concealer that I used up all last year, I threw away at the end of this year. I threw it. It's so hard because I'm talking about the future and the past. No, I'm talking about the past and the future. What? <laughs> um, okay, basically, I'm throwing away that concealer at the end of 2017. This is my one for 2018. Only if it's good. Only if I like it, this is the one I want to use up. But since I've never used it, I don't know if it's good or not. And I've had this product for over a year, but it's still sealed and it doesn't look like it's separating. So I'm hoping it's still good. Then eyeliner. As you know, I uh, lost my eyeliners last year and then I found them again. This is in the package that I found. This is the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner in the shade black. And it's just a little guy. Oh, excuse me, in the shade black brown. This is one that I got from working at Sephora. If that's what she looks like. Let's swatch it for the... Oh no, it broke. Oh, it totally broke! There it is! Alright, well, I guess I will not be trying this one. Oh my god, it's totally dry. Okay. 
quick pause, I'm gonna go pick out another liner. Okay, I'm back. Hi, <laughs> sorry about that. As you can see, it was my first time taking out the package. That's how you know how honest I'm being. Okay, that one was bad. Let's try this one. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in the shade M10. I'm hoping this one is also black because I really want a black pencil. It is black. Okay, cool. So let's do uh, a quick little swatch of it. Well, that was a bad swatch. Oh, interesting. It's not like, it's matte, but it's not like uber black. Like there's a bit of gray in it. Huh, okay. I will give this one a go and see what I think of it. So that's, whew, I'm really glad I opened up that It Cosmetics one. I wasn't planning on swatching anything, but that was key. <laughs> okay, then this is the ColourPop Hello Kitty highlighter. I got this in my trade with um, Triggy 3, Courtney. This is in the shade School is Fun. That's what she looks like. And as you can see, Courtney has used this, but I have only swatched it, and it is a light gold right there. And this is what I want to see if I want to keep or not. I am not a huge fan of cream products, but if this is a shade that like is really calling to me, I'm going to keep it. Um, it's, it's kind of hard to see. It's very subtle. But I normally look pretty good in gold highlights, so I'm interested to see how this one looks like on my cheeks. Um, and give it a go that way. Then, blushes. My struggle with that Maybelline Dream Bouncy blush is real. <laughs> From 2017, it's the one I've used up almost all year. It's hard to use up blushes, but it's cream blush. It's, it's leaving at the end of this year. It's just gross. There are eyelashes in it. <laughs> so... I have picked out two blushes to try in this project to see which one I like better. And these are both ones I've never tried before. This is the Physician's Formula. This is the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. This is in the shade Natural. This is one I never wanted to touch because of the packaging. Because it's just so cute. Like, come on, this heart shape, how adorable is this? See, I, like even the brush is still in the packaging. I don't think I'm gonna use that brush, but it's just so beautiful. I'm going to touch it for the first time. We're going to see. It looks to be really natural. Yeah, it's like a... Blushes are so hard to swatch, but it's just a very natural pink nude blush. Let's see if I can build it up. I just want to see if this is something that I want to keep or not. I just have so many blushes I've never used before. So one of my goals is to see if I can... Can you see that? A little bit. It has a little shine to it, but it seems to be a nice. See, now that I build it up, it looks pink, pink apricot. But we'll see. We'll see if it looks any good on my cheeks. Um, it's not very pigmented, so we'll see. And then I've got this is the NYX. This is the Mosaic powder. This is in the shade 08 Spice. They don't make this anymore. It's discontinued. I'm going to rip the packaging for the first time. I bought these when these were on sale at Ulta. And, it, I mean, look how pretty that is. Isn't that, like, pretty? I think it looks beautiful. What I'm really interested in is how these all swirl together and the shape that brings out. So let's give it a swatch. What it looks like now. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's much more pigmented than the, the Happy Blush. And a lot more neutral. That's going to be beautiful, I think. I'm really excited to use that one. That should be really nice. I wonder why they discontinued these, because these have been discontinued for a year. So, I'm excited to give that one a go. Huh, interesting. Okay, and then bronzer. I picked a palette last year that has a bronzer in it. This year I did not pick a palette that has bronzer in it. So I decided it was time to jump into my Too Faced bronzers. This is the Chocolate Soleil. This is in the Medium Deep Matte shade. Um, which is just their original Rocket Soleil, but this is brand new. I have three of these, and they're beautiful. I use these, when I used to work at Ulta, I use these all the time on people, but I've never actually used the ones that I own. So that's the shade there. It looks really deep, but you can really buff it out and make it look nice. We're going to see uh, if I need to throw away all three of these. So... I mean, it does look deep, like that looks pretty chocolatey, but I think if I don't do a concentrated swatch and just use my bronzer brush, it'll look really nice on the skin. I like that it's matte. I like glowy bronzers too, but that's nice. 
Does this still smell like chocolate? I've had this one for a little bit. Yeah, it does. Made it through a cocoa powder. All right, ninth item. This is the Japanesque. This is the Pixelated Color Collection. And this is just their shade 01. This is their finishing powder. It's a little yellow. It almost looks like a banana powder, which is why I've been hesitant to use it. But it says it's a finishing powder. So I'm gonna give this one a go and see if it's any good. Um, there's no scent to it, which is nice. When I worked at Ulta, Japanesque, did not really receive a whole lot of attention. Like very few people bought it. So they used to give out these samples freely to um, employees to see if we could sell it more, but people weren't interested in the brand they never really heard about. At least not like a lot of people were. So I'm excited to give this one a go and see if it's any good. I'll probably use it to set my under eye and then it says it's a finishing powder, so all over the face too. <sighs> and then last. <laughs> I have, I received this Sigmatic brush shampoo, makeup brush cleanser, when I placed an order from Sigma. And I was not super impressed with Sigma brushes. I think maybe I just bought the wrong ones. I don't know, I wasn't super impressed. They weren't any better than any of my other brushes. So, but this is a little sample I got. This is what she looks like. It's really small. I've never tried this brush shampoo, clearly. Oh, that's weird, there's like a little hole. See that? How do I get it out? Did it pour it out? I don't know. But I'm going to see if this is any good. Um, we'll see what happens. So there are my 10 products. I hope you enjoy. I hope you are starting off your year wonderfully with, I don't know if you have plans for anything. Um, let me know what you did for New Year's. I'm Ozzy looking for something fun to do. I normally am pretty lame and I normally just sit at home and watch TV. But... Mm, Let's see what happens. I want to know what you're doing and where to go for a fun time. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.